Hello, my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to this video of 10 gas questions that most gas engineers can't answer without using their books. So, what I'm doing is giving you 10 gas questions, multiple choice, three answers for each question and see if you can answer them without using your books, any training aids or the internet. Let's see if you can use this noggin. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your answers down in the comments section below and I'll give you the answers tomorrow but let's see who can answer these questions quickly and without using any kind of aids to help them answer it. Let's just use your gas knowledge. So let's stop waffling now and let's get on with it. So let's first by look at question number one. When can a gas cooker grill initial ignition exceed 10 parts per million CO for a short period of time? A. If it conforms to BS 7967 part 1 and manufacturer's instructions. B. If it conforms to BS 7967 part 2 and manufacturer's instructions. And C. If it conforms to BS 7967 part 3 and manufacturer's instructions. That is the end of question 1. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at question number two. At which levels of CO-CO2 ratio must you take action on a flueless water heater? Is it A, when the CO-CO2 ratio exceeds um, 0 0.020? Is it B, when the CO-CO2 ratio exceeds 0 0.040? Or finally, is it C, when the CO-CO2 ratio exceeds 0 0.010? That is the end of question number two. Let's have a look at question number three. If no manufacturer's instructions are available, what is the minimum distance a non-condensing boiler can be installed to combustible material in a cupboard? Is it A, 25 millimetres? Is it B, 50 millimetres? Or finally, is it C, 75 millimetres? That is the end of question number three. Let's have a look at question number four. If no manufacturer's instructions are available, what is the minimum clearance between a flueless instantaneous water heater and a ceiling? Is it A, 100 millimetres? B, 200 millimetres? Or finally C, 300 millimetres? That is the end of question number four. Now let's have a look at question number five. A natural gas cooker is installed in a kitchen with a volume of seven meters cubed. How much ventilation is required for the room? Is it A, nil? Is it B, 50 centimeters squared? Or finally, is it C, 100 centimeters squared? That is the end of question five. Let's look at question number six. Chimneys used for an inset live fuel effect fire normally requires a minimum size across its axes of A 125 millimeters, B 150 millimeters, and finally C 175 millimeters. That is the end of question number six. Let's 
let's have a look at question number seven. When installing a gas freestanding heating stove into a builder's opening, the flue must project how far through the register plate? Is it A, 100 millimetres? Is it B, 150 millimetres? Or finally, is it C, 200 millimetres? That's the end of question number seven. Now let's have a look at question number eight. What is a minimum void volume for an unlined masonry chimney with a gas fire fitted with a flue kit? Is it A, eight decimeters cubed? Is it B, 10 decimeters cubed? Or finally, is it C, 12 decimeters cubed? That is the end of question number eight. Now let's have a look at this question number nine. From November 2006, CO detectors must conform to, is it A, BS 7967 part one? Is it B, BS 7967 part two? Or finally, is it C, BS EN 50291? That is the end of question number nine. And finally, let's have a look at question number 10. Current standards categorise an SE duct with which letters and numbers? Is it A, A21? Is it B, B21? Or finally, is it C, C21? That is the end of question number 10 and the end of this quiz. Now, how have you done? Do you think you've got 10 out of 10? Hopefully you have, and hopefully you've proved me wrong that not every gas engineer can answer these questions. And if you've liked this video, why don't you give me the thumbs up? Or leave a constructive comment and your answers below. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because I'm releasing videos whenever. <laughs> while we've got this um, coronavirus pandemic. All I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, see you later guys, and stay in and stay safe. Cheers.